Hey guys, Sean Alexander, Apex Pressure Cleaning. Got a big announcement here. This is uh, what we've been working on for the last couple weeks. This is going to be the most performance-packed system that we have brought to you to date. This, uh, the big changes obviously come with the manifold. What we have here now is a three-quarter inch manifold. And uh, what that entails is we have the two legs, the two important legs, bleach and water, or water and bleach, depending on which one you want to use, all three-quarter inch tubing, all the way up from the barb fittings, three-quarter inch, to the check valve, three-quarter inch, to the metering valves, which is the Asai three-quarter inch, up to the new aluminum block that we've had made. These are big two and a half by two and a half inch anodized aluminum blocks. They have inch outlets on them one inch outlets that we taper down to our three quarter inch to feed the pump uh once again we have a th piece of three quarter inch tubing here suction tubing into the pump three quarter inch and then on the outside we have three quarter inch garden hose connection and if you've ever talked to me on the phone about one of these systems you know how much i like to use my garden hose uh as my soft wash hose so um, obviously that's changeable. You can change that out if you like, but all the rest of the system is um, mostly the same. Uh, Eagle-eyed viewers will see that we have a Delavan pump on here. This is a seven gallon per minute, 100 PSI pump. We get these from the same place we're getting our Remco pumps from. The last couple Remco 7s we've had uh, have blown the pressure switches. So I wanted to give the Dell Vans a try here. But uh, the rest of the system is pretty much the same. We still give you the wand at the top. We give you everything you see here. You got all 10 gauge wiring. Everything I add is 10 gauge. Um, got crimp connectors, heat shrink, all that stuff to try to keep all of that corrosion at bay. Quick connects. That way, uh, if and when the pump does go bad, it's an easy swap. Let's flip around to the back here. As you will see, we still have the battery maintainer wired in and ready to go. All you need to do is when you get done working for the day, you come home or come back to the shop, plug it into a drop cord to, or a 120 volts a household outlet, charge up your battery. That way you're ready to go for next job. Now, because we did go with the three-quarter inch manifold, we did have to step up the drop sticks. So we stepped those up to three-quarter inch as well. This is all three-quarter inch tubing. If I can find one of the ends here. All big three-quarter inch tubing. We do have two new filters on the ends of the drop sticks. So we can add um, at least a little bit of filtering to the bleach side. This is plastic or PVC, so it's not gonna corrode and bleach. So now the water and the bleach drop sticks are identical. It still comes with the quarter inch surfactant line. And those of you who are unfamiliar with our systems, we build these systems to be used with 55 gallon plastic drums that you can get on Facebook Marketplace or something like that. So those drop sticks are built for that. If, uh, if you're gonna use a different kind of tank or you already have tanks, that's fine. You can always retrofit them to work with other uh, other tanks that you may have but again this is our new three-quarter inch system this is the most performance pack system that we have built to date this should give us the most distance i have not tested it yet um, i had another one built and ready to go but somebody og down in north carolina snag that one from me before I got a chance to test it. So he uh, actually just got his system yesterday, I think, and he was, him and I were talking this morning a little bit about it. But so again, this is our new three quarter inch. This is the first time we've used the Asahi valves. I think they're pretty nice. They're fairly easy to use. They turn really well. Got a little zero to 100 dial there and a little marker. You see that little white marker down there? So you can turn it. Like if you're at 50 there and you open up the water all the way, and if you're using 12 and a half bleach, that's a good roof wash setting right there. 
You know, you want to go to a house wash, you can dial this back a little bit. Probably going to be in that range. But those are nice valves. They're made in Japan. Everything that... All the paperwork that I have comes with the, the machine. There is the paperwork on the valves. Here is the paperwork on the pump. These are all brand new pieces. And the paperwork for the battery maintainer. And that all comes with the system. Ready to go. Battery box. You supply a battery. It takes a group 24 size deep cycle battery. You can get them anywhere. Um, Walmart's a great place. I still use my Walmart. Group 24 deep cycle works great. But again, like I said, the uh, the surfactant leg, the middle leg, is still half inch. I don't believe you need anything bigger than that for a soap leg. And as you can see, she barely fits in there. But none of it's touching. Nice and easy. But this one's ready to go. If anyone is interested in it, this one is $1,750. $1,750. Um, I ship them anywhere in the continental United States for for $50, I believe, is what we've been charging. But uh, if you want to get a hold of this one, let me know. It's probably not going to last very long. Like I said, the last one, I uh, I teased it a little bit on uh, on YouTube, and the next thing you know, it sold the next day. So I didn't even get a chance to put it together. He just wanted the manifold. I sold him a pump, and he... Uh, uh, upfit his trailer with it and just in case you hadn't seen i still have a couple not very many but i have a few of our rain covers available we had these made thanks to a couple other old customers that um he gave me the suggestions like hey why don't you make a rain cover for these things so we have them i have a couple of them left i know this is probably great video as i'm trying to get this cover on but there you go the cover does have a cinch in the back and uh, trying to do that up one hand it isn't going to work but it fits real well it fits on both um, of the smaller pumps and the big seven gallon minute pumps so that's what it looks like. Now, the, the cinch strap in the back will actually help tighten it up a little bit. But it does come with a, uh, a little flap access here. So you can still adjust your proportioner. Or if you want to turn it off, you can. But that'll keep the... Uh, It'll keep the rain off of it if you uh, if you're one of the kind of guys that are out there washing in the drizzle, um, which is perfectly fine. We do it all the time as well. House washes in the rain, I think, are the best house washes. But uh, you really don't want this machine to get wet too wet with the electrical components like the battery maintainer on it. So we did come up with this rain cover. All right, like I said, I have a couple of them left. I don't have many. Um, I haven't decided whether I'm going to continue to, uh, have the guy make them for me or not, but, uh, as you can see, we have a little access here, so you can, so the hose can come out, so it can stay on while it's working, but the covers run $200, I know it's a spicy, uh, spicy note, but it does keep, uh, all the rain off, it keeps you from blowing up your pump, and it's also very well made, it's canvas, it's waterproof. The guy actually uses boat cover material on it. So, But I have a couple of those left. They fit all Gen 2 systems, including this new three-quarter inch system. So let me know. Give me a call. 810-284-2545. If you're interested in the three-quarter inch system, I'll give you one more look at it. If you're interested in the three-quarter inch system, let me know. It's probably not going to last long. But there she is. A big pump. Big manifold. Should give you the most flow, the most distance out of every any system we've ever built. 
Like I said, $1,750, $50 shipped to you. Give me a call, 810-284-2545. Thanks, see you guys.